Hey guys, welcome back to another 6 inch Black Series uh, Star Wars action figure review. We're saying this is Black Series, right? Um, this is a figure that's just sort of leaked out from an uh, eBay seller in China called Viper's Kingdom. Um, I've got a massive thanks to Nabil6901, um, good friend who alerted me via fa his Facebook page that this thing had slipped onto eBay somehow. Not sure how these guys, these sellers in um, in China and Hong Kong get these figures so early. Whether they're f faults from the factory, I don't know. I can't find any faults. No idea what's going on. But I was I'm, I just happened to be on my lunch break at work and I managed to see his post probably five minutes before I was going back into work. Um, so I quickly jumped onto eBay and snapped this guy up. Um... Before anyone asks, I will answer the question, how much did it cost me? It cost me about $38.99 US. Um, for me, that worked out to be just under 50 Australian dollars. Uh, so I was pretty happy with that. It wasn't too bad. Australian retail's 35 anyway, so it's really not that bad to have it shipped as well, which was free shipping. Um, so I'm assuming they put up maybe 50, because when I went to buy it, there was four left, and the bill's post hadn't been up that long before I managed to jump on eBay, so whether he was alerted to their listing straight away or I'm not sure but managed to score one and there was about four left afterwards so I imagine they disappeared pretty quickly since then we've seen this influx of massive bids it's been insane since that initial run of buy it now figures they've released one at a time and they've been going in excess of twelve hundred dollars um, I think the highest one was something like 1433 Australian dollars or something like that. It's insane that people would pay that much, but they're doing it. So don't catch yourself out. There are people relisting them now. Um, I'm seeing on eBay, as I've got this guy yesterday, other people are getting theirs from that buy it now price. And they're immediately relisting them and the bids are already going crazy. So these people are getting instant profits. So that's scalping at its finest. Um... I'm keeping this guy in my collection. I think he's fantastic. And we'll go through it right now. So this is obviously the first order Stormtrooper. This is a six inch figure. This will be coming out probably in September. Or there's been rumors that this guy is going to be the San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Um, I think that is stupid because who wants an army building figure as, a, as an exclusive? Um, they're going to need to do something else because, yeah, this guy's going to be mass retail. He's going to have to be. You don't sell Stormtroopers as a, as a convention exclusive. That's just silly to me. But that's the rumor. So I hope it's not true. But from what we know, we know nothing. We know very little about the First Order at the moment. We know that potentially Kylo Ren's involved. And Captain Phasma may be involved. Um, Finn may, may have been involved. You see him in the Stormtrooper armor at the start. Who knows? We'll find out come December, I suppose. Maybe, maybe we'll... Get some information in book form a little bit earlier. We'll see. Anyway. So this is a really nice design. I think this is a fantastic design. I'm really excited. It looks like a Stormtrooper has advanced 30 years, which is which is what you want. You don't want the same crusty Stormtroopers running around with their rattly armor and duct tape and hitting their heads on the wall because they can't see properly. <laughs> um... But this guy, this, it looks like Stormtrooper Elite times 10. It looks really cool. Um, the Flame Troopers also look great. The Snow Troopers look great. Um, this is going to be an elite army of really cool dudes. Unfortunately, the weapons he comes with isn't going to be what he's going to come with when he gets released proper. They just packed him in with the standard E11 Blast Tech rifle from the regular Stormtrooper. I'm going to mod this up a little bit, maybe... Maybe it's just stuff around with the details. Add a bit of white paint, the white flashes like the proper one has. But that's okay. And I'm assuming they come with a pistol as well. Because there looks to be a little peg hole in the armor there. If you can see that. Um, from all the press shots we've seen of the new Stormtroopers. They've got like a small little blaster attached to their hip there. So we'll, I'm sure we'll see how that works in time. So like I said, I'll just go through a bit of a 360 as I keep talking a little bit. So, accessories, not complete, doesn't matter. Not too fussed at this stage. Just happy to have the figure. Helmet design's really cool. I really dig this. It's a nice, smooth, flowing looking helmet. 
there's definitely an advancement of what we know of from the Imperial Army. So if we look at the details, I'm not sure if it's going to show up, but the uh, the eye lenses have definitely got that nice glossy look. And then there's this sort of matte finish that comes down the cheeks, and the sort of matte black, sort of like a rough, um, I'm not sure what to call it, meshy look. It's going to be hard to see in the, with my phone because my phone's camera is not all that great. It doesn't like focusing things on too that are too close, so you just have to take my word for it, unfortunately. But nice details. You can see where they've sort of followed on the designs in terms of that bit and that bit. Obvious advancements, though, which is nice. It's really cool. You've still got those sort of lines down, down the uh, bottom of the cheek there. A the little silver, silver part there, which is cool. Move down to like the chest armor, nice and clean, nice and flowing formation. It looks good. It doesn't look like something you duct tape together. Nothing like nothing against the imperial armor, but this is this has been a really nice, nicely designed. I think it looks great. Got that same design element of the dot with the two lines. I'm not. Sure, I can't remember what it represents. What it means. I used to think they were on and off switches when I was a kid because I didn't know that there were guys in these suits. But um, I know a lot of photos of this figure as they were sort of getting put on sale on eBay. Assuming that was a peg hole for maybe a backpack for the Flame Trooper or something. They might have the same body. I'm not sure. I haven't looked into it. But that's just a black circle. So um, you can sort of see the ribbed um, body glove too. That's flowing pretty much throughout the entire figure. Even moulded into the joints, which is really nice. So it hides that sort of... Hides the fact that there's joints there. We know there's joints there, but sort of hides it really well. You know, look at his utility belt, which looks great. That's that's a rubber. It's a really soft, malleable rubber, which is nice. So you can get him in those extra poses. Doesn't hinder at all. That's sort of held in there by that. And that sort of just it just wraps around the waist. Um, so that's held in the thermal detonator there, which is great. So you know, the, the uh, pouches and. I can't even think of what they all are. I don't know what they all are on this guy. <laughs> now, the the thing that's obviously missing is a gun holster. I'm not sure what they're going to do with it, with that in that case. Whether they're going to have, whether it's going to be completely holding holding their blasters at all times. Like I said, mentioned that before for the little pistol. We'll see. We'll we'll certainly see in time. But um, the leg arm looks great. I like the knee pads. That looks good. And then the shin armor, of course, covering over the uh, ankles and the boots, which looks good. You know, sort of comlinks and stuff, I'm not sure. We'll find out in time, but that's nicely designed, nicely molded there. You've got the gloves as well on the outside. We've still got the uh, outer hand armor plate there. I'm not sure why he's got one white finger there, but. Um, from the press shots that we have seen, the inside of the gloves are white, the outsides are black, except for the uh, pl armor plate. So that could be just factory bizzo. But overall, stoked on this guy, really, really excited. That's like I, like I was saying, uh, th having this thing, this thing in my collection now has only gotten me exci more excited about what we're going to get soon. Um, like we're going to get the Kylo Ren and Finn and Ray and BB-8 and who, knew, who knows, hopefully a new Luke and Han and Leia. That'd be just so good. Um, but at the same time, I hope we get some good, a good selection of three and three quarter inch figures. Um, really, really hoping. But if they decide to solely go six inch, which I don't think they will, I will pick these bad boys up because these are incredible. Really nice design, really great figure. Really excited for this for this line. The articulation, we've got the ball jointed head, got the ball socket sort of joint in the top of the head with the hinge in the neck. You got the ball hinge shoulder, ball hinge shoulders and elbows. Only the single joint in the elbow, so you're lacking a bit of movement. Can't even get that 45 degree, unfortunately. It's got the swivel on the wrist and the uh, the hinge as well. So you got that sort of outward movement. Got the joint in the uh, torso there, which allows for a lot of movement. 
really nice articulation in the legs there. So you've got the uh, hinge joint with the swivel, swivel thigh thing, double joint in the knees, and the uh, hinge joint with the rocker in the ankle. So good articulation on this guy. Um, just if anyone's interested, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it. Sorry. Not sure if you're going to see it in that light. Hasbro China. LFL. Copyright. So this is a... I'm not sure what all these numbers stand for. They're batch numbers or something. I'm sure we'll find out sooner or later. So yeah, really excited. Don't go pay stupid money for this thing. Just wait it out. A couple of months, they'll fly by. We'll be sitting in the theaters before you know it, watching Force Awakens. And I'll be honest, I cannot wait. This is just such an exciting time. Um, but once again, thank you so much for watching my review. I hope you've all enjoyed this. I hope I've sort of pegged a bit of excitement in you guys as well. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, and I'll be back with some more videos very soon. So until then, may the force be with you guys.